Hello everyone. Welcome to Techie QA channel. Please subscribe the channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain the tool called Charles. So Charles Proxy. So here is the website to get it. CharlesProxy.com. So once you go, you can download it. So there is a free version also available. So there are some limitation with free version. Only 30 minutes uh, you can like it will active on the session. Again, we, we have to restart. And when we launch, it will take some time to uh, like launch. So the, some limitations are there with Charles, but still you can use free version, no problem. So it's available for Windows 32 bit, 64 bit, Mac, Linux ports 32 as well as 64. So once you download like just a normal installation process, whatever the uh, platform you are using. So after that, just open it. So once you open, yeah, it's loading the preferences. So what is this Charles proxy tool actually? What is the use of it? Web debugging proxy. So when you are testing web application, so you can see the front end. For example, take this website only. You can see the front end. But when you are clicking download and uh, when you are clicking uh, documentation, what's happening at back end, what the request sending to the server. So this all we cannot see actually here. And uh, there will be some API also will be triggered. For example, uh, if you are uh, if you are planning to sign up something, sign up with Facebook, LinkedIn. So when you are doing that, what's, what it trigger from your local machine to the server. So all this request and response will be tracked by this Charles proxy. So for using this, actually when you are testing it, if something gone wrong, we can see the response, what happened. So these are all HTTP websites. So for this, we need to set up a certificate that we can see later. Just let's see how it use. Okay, you can clear it here. So when you start, it's by default, it will start recording. Here, there is an option called throttling. Maybe we can see it in next session. So throttling, uh, what is throttling and all? And disable the breakpoints, edit, undo. So settings and all we have proxy settings and all so by default it will take your uh, local proxy chrome proxy uh, just click on setting if it is not recording anything your chrome click on proxy setting go to your windows enable http proxy local if it is mac you are using enable mac os or else what you can do you can give port number 6060 and go back to your chrome go to setting more tools and just do proxy so you will get an open proxy setting click on open proxy setting so from the chrome it will open your uh, uh, network uh, settings actually so in web proxy you can enter 127.0.0.1 this localhost address and 6060 which we have already okay once you done click ok so this will be local proxy will be enabled it will start record your request from the browser chrome browser actually okay so now just clear this for a checking purpose go to bbc.com okay yeah so if if the page itself not loading or internet issue came there is some issue with the proxy setup that you have to check it again but for me it's loaded i can go and see here see bbc.com you can see all the script wow see i can see all the html so the whatever the data came from uh, back end and uh, so you you are thinking that bbc just one url triggering to the server no see bbc.com then bbc.co.uk there are ads also loading it and uh, what are the analytics they are using we can see it here actually so what are all the third party analytic google syndication they are using it for page load purpose and what else so everything so whatever they have uh, implemented with this uh, website everything we can see it here so when we are testing uh, a web application we should know about it so what are the things uh, back and running so everything we can get it from the charles proxy so their response how much time it's taking so if you see it here you can see time span request per second duration so everything you can 
record it here actually so this is the like uh, purpose of charles proxy i think basic you understood or oh, maybe we can see how to record https on the throttling and all in next sessions coming sessions please subscribe and uh, keep follow our uh, site so we will get more videos if any suggestion or if any comments please uh, put in comment section thank you guys thanks for watching